All right, so today's video, I'm just doing a quick uh, clutch master cylinder replacement. Here's the part number. I'll probably come back to it in a bit. All right, so pretty much the CRV is uh, it's a little messy. I use a food color in my dot four fluid. Anywho, um, gonna go over a quick summary of how to take it out just without taking it out to save time because I think everyone kind of could search it up. I'm not really doing a how-to, uh, but with the proper tools that I got here, uh, pretty much the steps are pretty simple. Uh, you gotta work from the inside uh, where the clutch pedal's at. So start off starts off with the uh, two 12 millimeter so uh, nuts and then followed by the pin. So pretty much this is the tool I use, 12 millimeter socket. This is the plier to unhook the pin Moving on up, this is the CRV 2004 uh, clutch master cylinder. Uh, as you can see, there's a difference with this one. Um, I haven't introduced it yet, but in a second I will. So, gonna kind of go over the teardown of it. Uh, so, in order to take uh, use the same plier to pop the hose off, um, use the uh, 17 millimeter here along with this special tool up here. It's got, you notice it's got like a weird deal to it. Anyways, uh, it's to basically unhook, uh, unbolt this without stripping it. And then uh, once it's out, uh, it won't go out. Oh, it'll pop out, but then this thing right here, it's uh, held on by a pin, a little uh, deal here. So um, this little, they had a little notch right here. So I just kind of used the same plier poked it inwards and used this screwdriver up here and just popped it out, real simple. Now onto this uh, new one that I'm gonna be placing, replacing. Uh, the reason why I'm doing it is because um, pretty much it's getting like uh, spongy. So uh, it's getting like spongy filling and I gotta take off my shoe and you know, shift it, this and that, pretty dangerous. And I have a, uh, I have a, uh, was it? Can't really zoom in. Can't really tell but either way i have a auto zone you know drill ass slave cylinder clutch slave cylinder but um the main thing is it's still doing it so uh, i opted for the em2 civic em2 uh, uh, clutch master cylinder from what i've read or people told me is that these are actually more durable and uh, now coming down to it you see the big difference i i'm not the engineer here but from what i was told is that these were made to be a little bit more softer on the clutch pedal, which kind of counter contradicts itself, I guess, in, in these cases where it gets spongy. So uh, people opted for the Civic EM2 as a downgrade, but in this case, it should be more durable. So I was told to do it because a lot of issues like, hmm, off the top of my head, uh, synchros, bearings, um, whatever, input shaft, I guess, things like that can get damaged internally if it constantly grinds or if it's acting up, stuff like that. So yeah, I uh, opted on this as a future-proof deal. So car is like about almost 20 years old. <laughs> so it's about time to switch it to this deal. Uh, I did get an OEM one. Like I said, the part numbers are here. So you could kind of like, if you want to do it, you could kind of just punch this part number in and it'll pop up buy it at wherever you buy from i just bought it from a honda dealer online and yeah i'm not going to really show a how to but just know that it's just it's just a vlog so of a daily life of a crv i'm kind of behind so i do have more things coming up coming up with this car that i uh, wanted to kind of like do before i stop making any more vids about this car uh it's been busy with life and stuff so yeah i appreciate if you guys uh be a little patient and uh, just enjoy this CRV, CRV vlogs, basically. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to put it all up and then uh, reverse the order that I did everything. And it uh, should be set, re-bleed it. Going to do some other stuff around the engine bay. So, not related to the main thing. Or actually, some other stuff too. But, yeah. Alrighty. That's it.